is it going to be a match that uh, we leave all of us standing and saying, yeah. when is it going to come? We, we, I, I'm, I've watched Raw, and I see that um, you can't really find the pressure on him. But it's a game that everybody is going to be on their feet from the first uh, whistle to the final buzzer. And it's really going to be interesting. This is African football. These are two giants. These are, these are former winners of the I mean, uh, AFCON. The Zambians have always been under a shadow. And they want to ensure that they break that jinx for once and, I mean, and, and move ahead to play at the World Cup. They've never been there before. And Nigerians will be there about six times now. And um, five times, rather, sorry. Um, they, they too want to be there. And mm. if it is riding on the back of the Eagles, they want to do that. You saw what happened to the South African That's right. I mean, Unuyo. They've always wanted to beat us. And they got it at, at our backyard. Though, unfortunately mm. for them, it's the worst thing that have happened to the Bafana Bafana. Mm. Ever since they beat us here, they felt that was all they needed to achieve in football. Yeah. And they've lost all their games. <laughs> okay, that beat them home and away. You, all, you know that. You know? So it's really going to, the Zambians are going to come smoking. They want to ensure that, yes, we get a good result in you. But I don't think. Now mm. is not the time. If it was probably during the beginning of the qualifiers, you know, and we didn't have yeah. this team the way yeah. we have them now, mm. maybe they, mm. could, they could have gotten a result. Their but for now, no. is in their hands. And just as Sonny Young says, um, uh, they cannot gamble with it at this point. I totally agree. And since Tana has mentioned South Africa, let's just give you an update uh, that, that concerns South Africa. FIFA, uh, the World Football Governing Body, they have announced that the replay of an annulled 2018 World Cup qualifier between South Africa and Senegal will be played on November the 10th. Um, South Africa won the original match 2-1 last November, uh, but a FIFA probe triggered by betting patterns led to Ghanaian referee Joseph Lamte being found guilty of match manipulation. FIFA banned Lamte for life and the Court of Arbitration for Sports Cars um, rejected his appeal. It is the first World Cup qualifier in any continent to be replayed after a referee fixed the outcome. And you just mentioned that after they defeated Nigeria, uh, it's been going from... Yeah, it's gone on uh, hurry for the Bafana. And Bafana. this again isn't I mean, good news for yeah, them. Yeah, you know, this was a game they had won and they thought they had three points for the kitty. Yeah. And for me, I think the race to um, Russia um, is all but gone for the South Africans. Wow. Uh, they, they are in the top group. You have Senegal, you have Burkina Faso. And they're having to replay this. I don't see them beating Senegal. Mm. If you watch that game, Austin, you would realize it was one of the worst moments for African football. Mm. That wasn't, I mean, it was the worst adver advert for uh, anybody could ask for in terms of football. And for me, if there was anything worse than a live ban, then Lampton should, should have been given that. Sure. Uh, that, that, that mm. I mean, that was the worst of games. Austin, I still don't know a better word to qualify what to play that day. When there was no penalty you gave, I mean, it goes that shouldn't have counted and then all because I, I, I still don't know what happened. But mm. for us, um, that, that was really very, very bad for African football. And uh. the South Africans now have to pay for that poor officiating. You That's know? right. So let's see. Uh, FIFA has ordered a replay. Uh, it will be played on November uh, the 10th. So all the best to both sides for us who we'll come back here to talk about it. Uh, more updates. Equatorial Guinea, they have been banned from the 2019 Women's World Cup in France. Why? Why have they been banned? They fielded 10 ineligible players and using forged documents. Women's football again. We're still fighting one in Nigeria, uh, Abia Angels. And uh, we're hearing this again. The players all took part in qualifying for the 2016 Olympic Women's Tournament in Brazil. FIFA has also imposed a fine of $102,000, Tana, uh, that the, for the country's football association to pay. The two time champions will not feature at the 2020 Olympics and the next two Women's Africa Cup of Nations in 2018 and 2020. Equatorial Guinea, one of the countries doing, uh, showing some good progress women's football but this again isn't good for our football no, we no, no. must encourage integrity in the football in africa no, austin that was really it, it, it was i mean it was just when i heard about it i felt wow this is always not what we want to hear about african football. Ah. they came up at the point in time and we're the only um real match for the nigerian team you know you even winning an afcon and all mm. of that at home at the expense of the nigerian team and for us i felt yes this was good for african football that's right we're bringing a lot of competitive yeah. whatever and, yeah. uh, edge and all that mm. you know at the point you know there were even Watch allegations documents. that some of this some of their players could have been feminine i mean Man. masculine mm. you know or, you know and now coming to forge documents just to end results yeah. on the future play this is the beautiful game for crying out loud mm. you don't need all that and one game yeah and i like what is going on just in case you cheat and then you think it's gone, because this happened at the Rio Olympics, yeah. 2016. I said, no, we're, we're reviewing. Yeah. We'll go back again and again and make sure that the right thing is done. So that's it. The Equatorial Guinea, they have been 
banned but, from the 2019. But we, we, we keep seeing all these things happening mm. at the FIFA level. What is the Confederation of Africa football doing? I kept they need that. to step up their ant mm. as well, so that mm. I mean, we need such things to be exposed. Yeah. The, probably the, the sport who won the the the, the uh, AW the African Women Championship, yeah. you know, were probably I mean probably uh, they would have used some of these. So uh, I mean, so for car players, if if the international body is doing their work, we need to do our homework. Yes, we need to because do it. Because we properly. are on ground. I agree we with need you, to do Tana. it. Yeah, I agree with you. So let's just give a mention to the ITO Cup Tana and Niger Tornadoes. Uh, even though they lost the second leg against Ifa and Uba, uh, they are through four three on aggregates and they are in the final. They with the winner of the match between Aqua United and Sunshine, Sunshine Stars. Yeah, I mean, fantastic result mm. um, beating the, I mean, the defending champions. Wow. Um, it's actually a big one. Mm. You know, when I saw them score four goals, I mean, the first leg, I knew it was going to be difficult for the final but right. coming back. And, um, I mean, you, you don't win 4-2 in, in the first leg game and then, you know, go back and uh, perform woefully. Uh, I think it's a big boost for them. And they'll be ready to take on anybody now. Now they believe we've beaten the champions. Mm. We can't become the next champions That's of, right. of the ITO Cup. And it gives them, I mean, a continental ticket as well. Mm. So they'll want to keep um, up right. um, the good That's work right. they've done um, up to the final stage. Mm. I must say thank you so much, Tana, for coming around. Uh, you did a great job, particularly with letting us know that when the Super Eagles are doing well, it's joy for the country. Sure, it is. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Tana you know, is a senior sports correspondent at the Punch newspaper. And of course, to all of you guys sending out messages, don't stop. Keep those messages coming on Twitter, channels underscore sports, and Facebook channels like Sports. That's the show for tonight. On behalf of the team, the ever-winning sports team at Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria, I'm Austin Okonakman. We'll be back again tomorrow to talk some more sports, particularly Nigeria versus Zambia. But until then, in everything you do, remember, let's keep talking sports right for now.